I want to say to all of y'all, thank you. Thank you for your prayers. They mean more than than you could know. Heidi and I, uh, this is an incredible journey. It is an uplifting journey, but it's also a challenging journey. And and, and I cannot overstate how meaningful it is for Heidi and I and for the girls to be lifted up uh, by your prayers, lifted up by your intercession on our behalf. Every day uh, we see a hedge of protection that that I know you all are praying around us. Um, Every day in the midst of the slings and arrows, in the midst of the attacks, uh, we have a peace, uh, a, a peace that is only the result of your prayers, only the result of your standing with us. That 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 when when attacks and and, and personal insults and slurs on on my character, on my integrity, on my honesty, when they when they're coming fast and furious from political opponents and, and from the media, it, it is standing with believers who, who are praying a peace that passes understanding on us. Uh, and, and, and I am so, so very grateful. Bonnie, who's been leading this group, uh, is someone I've known since I was a kid. Bonnie was, was my Sunday school teacher when I was uh, in junior high. And, and she and her husband, Bill, have been dear, dear friends for 35 years. And, and Willie, who, who has been an active part of this, is, is another dear, dear friend and, and just prayer warrior. And, and I will tell you, the team that has come together behind this campaign, uh, to a person, uh, the senior team are strong believers. And, and that is something that, that has come together organically. Uh, but but it, is, it is one of the real strengths of this team is that... that we're doing it for the right reasons. We're doing it because we love this country, uh, because we love God, and, and because we recognize these challenges are enormous. And when we are battling spiritual warfare, your prayers, your support, your love envelops us every day. And so I just want to say on behalf of Heidi and Caroline and Catherine and myself, thank you. Thank you for standing in the gap. Thank you for standing with us. Thank you for holding up my arms when when, when they get weary because we are together fighting to, 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 to save this country that we love so very much. Ted, thank you. And uh, Dr. Harding is going to... Uh, pray for you specifically right now and then as soon as he's through we will close the call but Ted thank you so much you are indeed loved and prayed for and uh, we just hold you in the greatest esteem and and we see that there is an enemy out there and we're doing our part in battling it in prayer so Dr. Harding and, and, uh, and, and but Bonnie, let, Bonnie let me tell folks a quick story that may bring a smile to your face okay so uh, our girls for those of y'all who've gotten to know the girls, you know that they have very different personalities. That, that Catherine, the five-year-old, is sweet, sweet, sweet. She'll just hug on you and love on you. And Caroline, our seven-year-old, uh, is a rascal. I mean, she's just, she, she is a rascally. I love her with all my heart, but she's a rascally little girl, which is a, a wonderful and fun thing. I think Catherine has gotten her mommy's personality, and Caroline, unfortunately, has gotten her daddy's. And... Uh, Heidi told me a story of a few days ago. Uh, they, they were at home. Actually, Caroline was in trouble because she'd been misbehaving, so she was spending, uh, spending the morning helping clean, clean the kitchen as, as uh, punishment for her misbehavior, and the TV was on. And, and some commentators uh, were saying that, that well, if, if Donald Trump wins the state of Texas, it will be a fatal blow to the Cruz campaign. And Caroline was sitting on the couch at the time. She was taking a break from from her labors, and she watched that. She normally doesn't pay a whole lot of attention to politics. She thinks it's all kind of a distraction, but when they said if Donald Trump wins Texas, it'll be the end of the Cruz campaign, Caroline jumped up on the couch and put put her uh, put her uh, thumb on her nose and just started dancing around going, not going to happen, not going to happen, and uh, which, which made Heidi just double over laughing as she was yelling 
uh, to the TV. So I thought that was a story that would lift your spirits, uh, at, at, at least Caroline's thoughts on where we are in the election. <laughs> That's great. We're all laughing in here. I hope she's a prophet. That's what I hope. Amen. That it ain't gonna happen. That it ain't gonna happen. Ted, if you have anything else to share, people are interested in hearing. If you're ready for Dr. Harding to pray, we're good with that too. Uh, I, I, I would welcome the prayer, Dr. Harding. Thank you. Thank you, Sandra Cruz. Heavenly Father, we come before you and we are humbled in the fact that the God of the universe hears us and we can come boldly unto your throne and ask for help, for grace in time of need. And now, Lord, we come before you asking, dear God, for our country and for Senator Ted Cruz. Oh, dear God, we pray that you would just create and maintain a, a hedge protection around Ted and Heidi and their little girls spiritually, mentally, emotionally, physically, financially. Oh, God, we ask, we know that Ted is tired and that it's a long campaign trail. So at this very moment, Father, we pray in the name of your Son, the Lord Jesus Christ, that you would give him a refreshing spirit. Dear God, continue to give him clarity of mind, articulation of speech, but most of all, your Holy Spirit, that he would continue to lift him up, give him unearthly wisdom, perception, insight and oh dear God through and by what he is saying might your people truly wake up to the fact that we could lose our country if we do not make the right decision father we ask dear God for that divine intervention once again through and by your Holy Spirit and father that you would give Ted that unmerited grace Dear God, that as he goes, that he would follow you and continue to hear that still, small voice within him. Father, we pray, dear God, that you would just move in such a mighty way that everyone will know. And today, dear God, that you would begin the miracle that we have all been praying for as Christians wake up and realize it's not about the economy. It's about integrity, morality, and help us, dear God, and Christians to look and see that. And, Father, that we might truly, seeking your kingdom, your righteousness, see all these other things added unto us. So, Father, we ask, in the name of your Son, the Lord Jesus Christ, that you would just lift Ted up and Heidi and everyone else that is connected with the campaign. And dear God, that you would help them as they go forward. And Father, we'll be very grateful and pray this in the precious name of your Son and our Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, and through and by the power of his name we ask it. Amen. 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 And, and thank you very much, Dr. Harding. Thank you, Bonnie. Thank you, Willie. And thank you, each of you. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for your prayers. And thank you for standing together. Uh, and, and many blessings. And we'll look forward to hopefully a very good election night tonight. I believe tonight's going to be a good night. And we will find out in just a few hours. And, and with that, thank you, everyone. And God bless you.